So here's the deal. Normally a smaller Xbox Live Arcade title would get a one minute review, but Double Dragon 2 Wander of Dragons is so god awfully bad that I could not properly explain that in a single minute. It is the worst thing to ever happen to Double Dragon. It's also one of the worst beat-em-ups ever made. It doesn't get a single thing right. Like moving! It doesn't get moving right! When you press a direction on the control stick, you don't immediately go in that direction. You instead do an awkward back step first, pause for a bit, and then you run around. Control is everything in a beat-em-up, and this takes it away. When you're getting surrounded by enemies, you want to turn around quickly so you can punch the other dudes. Instead, you back your ass up into them and you get hit. Not that you have a lot of control when attacking anyway. You can punch and kick, which is fine. It also says you can hold down right trigger to do power punches and power kicks. But the power punchers use the same animations as the normal punch, just in slow motion. It doesn't feel any more powerful or useful. And the power kick doesn't work. I would hold right trigger the whole time and just hammer the kick button, and the power kick just wouldn't happen. It will happen when it feels like, when I'm not holding the trigger, but otherwise it just doesn't work. You also have the elbow smash that was vital in the original games because you can use it to hit people behind you. The elbow smash in this game goes wherever the hell it feels like, but never behind. So you can't elbow people coming from behind you and you can't quickly turn around to hit them, which means you just get your ass kicked. The only thing new or even remotely interesting this game adds in is special moves. The hurricane kick is in it, but so is a new forward hurricane, a fireball, and some sort of combo thing. In order to use these, you have to build up a super meter. Every four hits on a combo builds it by one segment. So then why is it that the entire meter disappears from nothing? How am I supposed to use these life-saving abilities if the mechanic for them doesn't work? And the thing is, sometimes the ability to use these powers just comes back on its own from nothing. But here's the best part about these superpowers. The game tells you not to use them. Because it'll turn your virtue into a vice or some crap like that. So if you use a super move once, just once at any point in time in the game, you get the bad ending. So don't do anything that could possibly resemble fun because they'll punish you for it. Of course, I didn't really care about getting the bad ending when I was already having a bad beginning. Do not think that at any point in this gameplay that the game looks fun. Because it's not. The movements are all jerky and the character models are so ugly. I can't tell if the dudes have comically large arms or comically tiny heads, and their attempts at making the female characters sexy is just appalling. Even the breast jiggle physics are bad. None of the bad guys are interesting. Instead of having different guys having different attacks and styles, they're all the damn same. And it's hard. Ball bustingly hard in an unfair way. How are you supposed to be able to react to people when they can hit you during your stand up animation? You get knocked down repeatedly until you die. The only way I was able to beat some standard enemies was because continuing makes you do a damaging shout. And this is the worst part of the Double Dragon remake Billy and Jimmy do two things and do them really well punch and kick people. So why the hell would you limit the only thing they can do by giving them a stamina bar? This prevents the player from doing the one thing they play this game for, hitting dudes. And if you get hit by an enemy, you lose stamina. So you get back up and you can't attack because you're tired. And then you get hit down to the ground again and this cycle repeats until you lose. This game is a joke. It's pathetic. A terrible attempt at using a familiar name to try to sell garbage. It's made by a bunch of people that you've never even heard of and they're going nowhere fast. And it doesn't even have online multiplayer at all. It's terrible, it's bare bones, and it has absolutely no redeeming qualities to it whatsoever. Double Dragon 2 Wander of Dragons is one of those few games that's actually deserving of a 1 out of 10. It's atrocious. Nobody buy it, just don't. I, I would rather watch the movie.